after a, a certain atmosphere thing, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna start comparing it to, to KSP here. So uh, in in KSP and the real world, even uh, there's an air density, right? You know the air pressure and stuff. Mm-hmm. And when you get above a certain altitude in the atmosphere, there's a whole lot less stuff. And in Star Citizen, the speeds are so so slow. I mean, like ah. Your max speed at ground level is 200 or something. And then when you're up high, it's like, ah, uh, now your max speed is like 500. It's like, that's that's not huge. And KSP, which is, you know, like the third scale or something, uh, your, your low altitude speeds are, you know, Mach 1 to Mach 2 in, in low atmosphere, yeah. which is is real fast, you know, 300 to, to 600 meters per second or something. And your upper atmosphere is in like the thousands of meters per second, you know, like one to 2000 meters per second, depending on where you are in the atmosphere. Obviously, if you're really low and you're going 2000 meters per second, you're going to explode. So when, when you see Star Citizen, you have these, like, these beautiful models and this giant world and everything looks great. And then you get in and everything just feels slow. It's like, this is a big ship, therefore it must fly slow. And if it's a performance thing, like, you don't want ships going really, well, I mean, really all, fast. Well, I mean, everything, everything has been moving way too fast, and I think I think things are going to be, things are going to be slowing down significantly, at least, at least as far as the pacing goes. It, but it's... Well, yeah, but, like, for leaving a planet, are you going to, like, leave all gingerly? No, you're going to be like, all right, you know, there's a certain period where you have to fly slow and safe because, you know, well, I think atmosphere. It, we're, we're talking about, like, like comparatively speaking, like, when Kerbal launching rockets and stuff. I look at it like this. Rockets and things like that that we're using today as far as leaving planets are basically using explosives to, to get into space. It's not It's not a not as controlled as say like these vast mirror engines so it's one of those things that while they're very powerful and then they quickly run out of fuel these may be like weaker but more consistent and not don't run out of fuel as fast so this is why leaving the atmosphere takes significantly longer because it's not as going near as fast it doesn't have to acceleration but it's also not out of fuel by the time it gets to space yeah but there's one thing that's that's kind of destroys that level of argument is that these ships have a afterburner slash cruise mode, which is very very fast. Well, so I mean that that, that get... the, well the afterburner burns up your does burn up a, a, the a separate hydrogen reserve. But afterburner is being removed, so it's just going to be high speed and low speed. So my thing is, I'm okay with a certain height on planets because of atmosphere reasons to keep mm-hmm. you slow. But once you get above that, there's no reason you can't speed up to "quote unquote" cruise levels. I well, yeah, I mean, like, like well, I mean, when I was trying jump. to leave, the, one of the one of the problems I had trying to leave this planet was that even though it said my safe speed was like three thousand something, I still couldn't accelerate. Now, now that I finally left the atmosphere, now I'm now I'm able to finally crank the speed. But it was saying yeah. that I had I had more. There's no reason. There was no reason to hold me back on that. Yeah, you can't speed up. No, I agree with that. It should you should have more speed. You know, it, it it tells you you do, but it doesn't seem to give you that option until you hit space. So that that's yeah. something clearly they have to work on. And yeah, I mean, it could just be that something that's like, oh well, we don't have it fully implemented yet, and that's fine, right? I mean, the the flight model is being changed, so it's to be expected that you know things that they are right now are you know going to be different change. Also, still can't fire. But yeah, I mean, once they once they change flight model and you have basically have a, a low and high gear. Um, I could I could see like the low gear, which is your combat speeds and your uh, like low atmosphere stuff, right? But once you're in upper atmosphere, there there's really no reason to be that slow. And you know you can you can tailor. I mean, they're already planning on doing this, right? You can tailor like, okay, well. You know, the atmosphere, upper atmosphere on this planet is, you know, 90 kilometers. But over on this planet, it's actually needed 20 kilometers because it's a very, you know, low atmosphere, like barely breathable. Or, you know, maybe it's not even the oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere. So, But as far as, like, the quantum jump, you, you, obviously you shouldn't be in an atmosphere to do that. 
This ship, the 600, is the closest ship, I think, in the game that makes you feel like you're sitting on the deck of the Enterprise because of the huge screen and the two guys sitting in front of you. It's like, break <laughs> show number one. I mean, from this view, it is, it is really... It is probably the best view for, for any travel. Except for That's that like flickering screen on your screen, which is like we want to like, like go over there and kick your terminal. <laughs> they just need to fix the beeper clip. Well, I heard the, and I haven't used it in combat in a while because I've once again a lot of ships to play with, and apparently the 600i is actually a force of nature now. It's pretty powerful. It it, it can, dog shit on my lease. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It, it basically, it, it can tank and it can kill really well. I think that's the case of uh, overbuffing. When you well, I don't know. It's supposed to, it's supposed bad. it's supposed to be a luxury variant with high end parts. It's it's supposed to be like a VIP transport. Think of it like an armored limo. So the the yeah, okay. the, the fact that that it, you know you have with I'm all the expensive people that are expensive people like discount people. <laughs> These expensive people. Uh, wink wink. Yeah. Well, basically <laughs> the uh, high end VIP people aren't going to want to sit in a ship that's made of tissue paper. And no, that's that's what the uh, economy class. Right, and, and they wouldn't have the economy class engines and economy. I mean, or you know, it's like this is a luxury ship. It's not going to have crap parts. I remember this cockpit area from the concept art, but I also could have swore it was bigger at one point. Like I remember this from like the grayscale stuff. Yeah. Where it was all, like blocked out and stuff, it's like uh, let's, uh, let's there's a lot cockpit, of wasted but... space in this cockpit, and I, I wish they oh massively, yeah. I mean, like the, these um these seats, they could be back here against the wall. With well, console, I mean those like, seats are pr those seats are pretty cool though. I, I feel like I mean, it's sitting. Oh, I, I don't I don't hate them, but I'm I'm, I'm just saying that like well, they I, could I, easily be somewhere else. Like I said, the exploration variant, right? That central room, you could you could have the catwalks in the outside and leave more open space towards the ceiling. Or even, or even just uh, one walk in the center where the vehicle is going right to the middle of the room and have more cargo on the sides. Either way, and then and then you could have the exploration seats and even the globe move behind this behind this captain's chair. So like you could have everything in exploration, the other stations back behind the the, the captain because there's enough room and and then you free up more cargo space for longer distance and bang, you've extended the ship's yeah, well, capabilities. Star Citizen is the perfect example of why you don't let artists design ships. <laughs> like, you look at, like, a Russian tank. It's like, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Well, what about the cappuccino maker? No! No cappuccino maker. It's tank. <laughs> uh, I, th I think they're actually, their submarines are uh, very similar in uh, in that regard. Is that They just, this is the vehicle. It's designed to do this. It will do this. Yeah. Where, you know, other places are like, well, what if the crew wants, like, their own little station or something? And it's like, oh, yeah, I can't forget about, you know, let's just add another 40, you know, 40 meters to the vehicle so that we can get all those extra amenities in there. Well, I'm hoping that... Whoa. Whoa. That's weird. So, do we have to EVA over here, or... Well, I'm trying to... I guess I gotta scroll down. I'm trying to get the station. There we go. It was way at the bottom of the list. Please proceed to assign landing bay. All right, there we go. That's the thing. Like, I kind of on the comm channels, they need to give us tabs, like you know, systems or like 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 stations, friends. Yeah. You know, I mean, because like, and then when you're zoomed in, you know, you're trying to zoom in and you're scrolling because it's oh, too. This is a dock. This is awesome. So it's one of those things that can be too much to scroll through. I gotta say, I really like this hangar bit. Oh! What? I pressed N. Why did I do that? <laughs> It took control. It it literally took control, and then it and then it just flew into the station. That was weird. <laughs> and the people inside of it got balls of steel because they didn't even fucking flinch, and the ship crashed into their freaking window. 
Maybe that maybe they've seen it all. They're just like, yep, oh, yeah, here comes another one. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap! The system's on the fritz again, Jerry. No, I I, I held down the 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 auto, uh, you know, and then it then it started just started like uh, changing course, and it just flew itself directly into the into the dang thing. You didn't hold it down hard. Enough. I guess I didn't. 